Do not adjust your sets, ladies and gentlemen. One of the greatest of all time is back. The current UFC middleweight champion, George St. Pierre, walked away from the sport after his 12th consecutive win. That was November of 2013. This is a guy that made the takedown in mixed martial arts an art form. Unbelievable what this man accomplished without amateur wrestling credentials. GSP, perhaps the greatest of all time, is back and seemingly better than ever. George St. Pierre is, in my opinion, the very best at mixing up takedowns and striking. It's so unpredictable what his attack can be and so successful inside the octagon. All right, talented fighter making the walk here tonight. I will be surprised, Joe, if we see him put on his back at any point tonight. Incredible takedown defense, great balance, very solid base, an outstanding sprawl that's very quick and athletic. And for a lot of fighters, they waste a lot of energy trying to bring this man down. Got to think the smart approach will be to see if you can get the shot early, but if it doesn't materialize, go to plan B. This guy's takedown defense north of 90%. Some of the best takedown artists in the world have failed to take him down. This guy is an elite submission fighter. What he wants to do is get this fight to the ground where he will have a distinct advantage over his opponent. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight, GSP is 18 years the elder. He will have a six inch reach advantage. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, George Rush. And now introducing the opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 187 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Grandmaster. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the octagon for this one. Just out of range with that right hook. Front kick to the face. Immediately shoots for the leg. Oh, hard kick. Man. Oh! Try to establish that jab. Oh, effective strike there by George St. Pierre. This is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. Both fighters throwing heat now. Now a level change. I believe he's in all kinds of trouble now. There's a tremendous amount of pressure on that arm. He may have to tap. Stunning. And don't, don't Stunning. Do it. And he really made it look easy. Great job in getting this fight to the ground quickly and getting an early submission. Yeah, Joe, that was quick, but can't say that we're all that surprised with this result here tonight. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time. He wanted to be efficient, knew he wanted to get this fight to the ground and let his submission skills take over. Outstanding effort, even better technique here tonight. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 36 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. Tonight, though, is...